So what I have here on my screen is a purchase design. And I have had a question from a fellow embroiderer who wants to try to put a stipple fill around this embroidery design in order to try to flatten it down. She apparently experienced some puckering in the design that she was embroidering and felt that if she added a stipple fill that it would help to control some of that puckering that she had gotten when she made her embroidery. So what this is on the screen right now is this is not the actual design that my friend was using but this is a purchase design and it is in a Jeff format. And so what I'm going to do is I am first of all going to um, come up here into the digitize toolbar and I'm going to select the rectangle square shape and I'm going to click on that and I'm going to just drag a large square shape. So I'm just holding down my left mouse button and I'm dragging a great big square shape. More or less this perimeter size of the embroidery field. So once I've got it to the size that I want it, I'm going to click again and you can see that what the default was set at was a tatami fill over here on the object properties bar and that's not what I want it to be. I would rather turn it into a stipple. So over here in my resequence bar on the right hand side, I'm going to select that fill that was just created and I'm going to come to the object property fill bar, scroll down until I find stipple single run and click on it and you will see that what has now happened on the screen is that fill pattern has now turned into a stipple. Um, just for clarity's sake, I'm also going to keep it selected and I'm going to change the color of that to this dark green that was in the um, embroidery design so we can see what I'm doing a little bit better. So when you look at this stipple fill, you're going to see that it goes all the way underneath this purchased embroidery design and that is not what we want. We just want the stipple to be around the design. So a very easy way to accomplish that is to just make sure that your stipple fill is selected which it is right now and when you come over into your advanced or into your digitized toolbar one of the options that is now available is called digitize hole so I will select the digitize hole and what I'm going to do is just come around the outside of this design and I'm just going to place some nodes to cut my hole so I'm just going to come around I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time doing this because I do want this just to be a little short video but um, basically what I'm doing is just coming fairly close to the outside of this design shape right clicking and left clicking is needed in order to get my curves and points maybe I should have selected an easier quicker design huh? it shouldn't take me too long I'm about halfway there now so just clicking around the perimeter of this little shape here I go I'm not the fastest at this, but anyway, it's kind of a more or less um, almost there technique that I'm doing here. So I'm coming around the top, almost to the end. When I get back to my starting point, I want to zoom right in there, and I'm going to try to place my last node right on top of the beginning one. Hit your Enter button two times, okay? And when I zoom back out, you're going to see that that hole has now been cut out of that stipple shape. See that there? Um, the other thing that I just want to make note of is that when the stipple is selected and you are here in your object properties bar, when you scroll down, you're going to see your stipple settings and you can adjust the loop spacing and your stitch length and all of those kinds of things just as you normally could on any other fill. So let's just say, for example, that I might want my stitch spacing to be slightly smaller than that. Right now it's defaulted at 0.295. Let's just take it down to a 0.20. See if that changes it much. Oh, wow, look at that, what it did. So, okay, that is how you would create a stipple fill around the outside of your design. The other thing you just need to make sure of is that um, the size of that stipple fill is actually going to fit into the embroidery field of the design um, or the hoop that you have selected. So I hope that this helps you to understand that's just one of the ways that you can create a stipple fill around an embroidery design when it is a purchased design. Okay, thanks for watching.